Hey Sparks, what's up? So this is podcast time. So if you saw the first one that I put up, it was like my live podcasting of how I do it live. So this one's a little different. As you notice, I have on a Plantronics headset. Uh, and I have this one because there's some external noise going on. There's like a bird chirping outside my window. The dryer is going off. So I'm going to use something that's going to cancel out noise, whereas my regular headphones would pick up the noise. Okay. Now, again, this is podcasting made easy. There are podcasting classes you can take for like $2,000. There's plenty of podcasting how-to tutorials on YouTube. I'm just showing you how basic and elementary it really is, and you don't need a whole lot of extra fluff to do it. Okay, it's just really like a talk style radio, taking your content that you're passionate about and sharing it on the web in multimedia style. Now, the other thing is, I have on a jacket. It's a little cool here in Atlanta, um, in like the 35 degree range, 40 degree. But if you notice, if you can hear it, I have some change in my pocket. Oh, and it just all fell out. That's great. <laughs> I wanted to demonstrate to y'all. I was going to take it out. Always check to make sure, you know, you don't want too many sounds around. A lot of times I'll take Marlo and put him outside. Another thing is this chair. Now you see me standing. Um, it stretches the diaphragm just like for a singer. And I really think it's um, great. Sometimes I podcast standing up. Sometimes I podcast sitting down. So what I'm going to do is switch out this chair for, because it makes noise. It's all squeaky. It's my, it's my cool chair. Um, I'm going to switch out this chair for a silent chair. It actually has the rollers on the bottom. So... I'm going to do that very quickly. So I've switched out my chair. It's a real, well, it kind of makes a little bit of noise, but not as much. I have my notes on how I want to run my podcast. I will leave all of these below the video. Uh, everything that I have here, I always have an agenda. Always have an agenda. Even when I have a guest, I send out questions to my guests. Some guests want to have the questions answered. You know, they want to see what you're going to ask them prior to. Some will say, I don't, I don't want any. Uh, when I interviewed ET, I had a whole set of questions. And um, his uh, manager was like, no, no, ET, just, you just give it to him. I said, hey, I can do that. <laughs> um, but again, it's whatever your... Um, your person you're interviewing, your interviewee, whatever they want, you know, make it very easy for them. So we're going to get started with the show. You can podcast. What I do is blog talk radio. I actually put the link on my website through libsyn.com and spreaker.com and on SoundCloud. So I'm putting it four different places plus here on YouTube. And that video is also going to be on my website. So look, I'm taking one action and I'm putting out there five different times, not to mention on Facebook, on my Twitter, everywhere. So that's why podcasting is so important. And yes, my podcasts are also in iTunes. So again, this is nothing fancy. Take whatever it is that you're passionate about. You know, you can go over to Fiverr.com, get some intros made. You can make them yourself. I have some made, you know, my kids made them. My husband made them. Have fun with this. And again, you only need typically your headset and you only need your computer. And actually, if you want it to just podcast and actually do it on SoundCloud, you can do it right through your iPad. So it's just, I mean, there's a lot of things we want to do and we say we want to do. But get it done. Get to it. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Like I say, I always pray and ask God to think through my mind, speak through my vocal cords. Less of me and more of him, none of me, all of him, so that what I say and speak to all of you, you know what, it moves you in some way. My goal is to inspire, to educate, and share. My business is personal, so that's what it's all about. I also, you'll see me looking at my computer monitor because I have people that complete questions and surveys, and I answer those typically on the show. So today I'm going to help people. They say, what do you need the most help with? I'm going to answer those questions. Now, your show can be anywhere from... 10 minutes to an hour. I've done 60 minute shows. I've done 30 minute shows. Um, 10 to 15 is really the range that I like because parts of entrepreneurs, you know, they're busy and I want you to have something that you can take actionable steps on right away. And I find that the 15 minute range works very well for me. Now I'm also recording today with GarageBand, but again, you can do this directly through SoundCloud, uh, but I wanted to use GarageBand just to have an opportunity to get some edits in as well. All right, and typically, actually right now, I'm recording this through Photo Booth on my Mac. Um, but last time I did it, oh, I used my computer, and I actually took the recording through ScreenFlow. So, I mean, you really can record any which way. Matter of fact, I think I might do it through ScreenFlow because it's a lot easier. So, 
uh, garage man is one of those things I have to kind of play around with it. If my husband's not around, I get confused. All right, so we're going to get started in just a moment. I'm actually going to open up my screen flow and actually record right through there. Welcome to the Spark Wisdom Show, and I'm so excited that you're joining me today. It is a cold day here in Atlanta, Georgia. It's about 35 degrees, and I'm telling you, I lived for 10 years in Jacksonville, Florida. This is cold to me. I'm like, got my sweater on. I have my heater on in my office, and it is chilly. So I'm excited that you're joining me today. Again, my name is Montina Spark Wisdom Portis, and I teach part-time entrepreneurs how to build traffic, create content, and convert their passion into profits. Now, I'm telling you, I'm excited about what I do, and I'll tell you, I'm passionate about it, but there are some things that I really enjoy, I love, and there's some things that I don't really enjoy about business, huh? That gets you, right? So if you've read MJ DeMarco's the millionaire fast lane, you know that you can't just concentrate on what you love because what you love may not bring you a profit. So I want to encourage you to make sure that you get that book. And I'm going to tell you, our sponsor today may have that book on audio for you to get absolutely free. Today's podcast is brought to you by audible.com. Get a free audio book download at audibletrial.com forward slash Spark Wisdom, over 100,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, your Android, your Kindle, or your MP3 player. Everything from fiction to nonfiction, get over there, get that audible uh, trial.com forward slash Spark Wisdom download. And you can, again, listen to that on your morning commute to work. And you have so many other things that you can do. Now, I'm excited to be joining you today. So you might be wondering, like, who are you? If you came across me in iTunes, or you could see this directly on my website, or maybe you've just come across it on SoundCloud or Spreaker or Facebook. Now, I am just someone that's been online since about 2009. I started my journey online because I simply wanted to connect with single parents. I had a nonprofit called Single Parent Assistance Resource and Knowledge Network where we were activating confidence and inspiring wisdom in the single parent family. I turned on my webcam. I have a 30 second video that's totally, it's horrible, horrible, uh, but I'm not going to take it down because it just gives you an idea of where I started. My audio and my lips didn't even match. It looked so bad. But I turned on the webcam and I turned it on again another day and I turned it on again another day. I started podcasting and creating shows for single parents. It was called the Spark Wisdom Show and that's what it was all about. So that's where I started. So from the course of 2009 and 2010, I met a gentleman who found me online through my nonprofit who I'm now married to and he just kind of helped me evolve and I've helped him evolve in our lives and I started a business online in 2010 called Organic Life Products where we're inspiring everybody one person at a time. Your skin is good and we make it better. By the end of 2011, I had almost 100 consultants. The first 20 days of that business, I was in a flea market where people were walking by pregnant and smoking cigarettes. I'm selling a natural product and I made almost 12, I made over $12,000 within 20 days, $12,000 in sales. And I'll tell you what, it's been a journey. Uh, I still am working full time as an IT security analyst with the largest IT financial company in the country. And um, I'll tell you, I'm a wife and I'm a mom of three. And I've just been online just like you saying, okay, I know there's more. I know that there are people out there making money online. And you know what? I started going after it. So today in our show, we're going to talk about more of how you should go after that and who you should follow. So again, that's who I am. You can find and connect with me at sparkwisdom.com. That'll take you to my Facebook and my Twitter, my website. Everything's there. Put your information in. I'd love to send you out a free gift. Again, at sparkwisdom.com. Now, again, you might be thinking, well, what do you do? (laughs) And it's very unique what I do because I'm very focused on video marketing and passive income streams. If you find things that I teach, they're video marketing or they're passive income streams and they're ways to help you grow your business. I can show you how I've built a brand and build traffic. The biggest thing that I do is I help you convert your passion into a profit. I help you find what it is that you really enjoy 
create a profit or find some things that you don't really enjoy that are profitable because I help you understand what your whys are. Why do you do what you do? For me, of course, my family is one of the reasons, but they're not the only reason. I want to build a, a neighborhood for single parent families with a duplex. I want to one day live off 10% of my income and give away 90%. I want to set up scholarship funds for single parent families. You know, I have a GED and I now have a master's. I want to put together programs to help fund GED. So there's so much more to my why, which helps me get motivated. Some people say, I'm not motivated. Well, you know what? Find a why and you'll get motivated. So today for our topic, I want to talk about who should I follow. A lot of people are looking for the right guru or the right export uh, or the right person to follow. So you want this expert, you want this guru, you want this coach, and you're like not choosing anyone because you're so frustrated or confused. So I thought, you know what? I have chosen some amazing coaches and there are some people that I follow and some people that I don't follow that are still absolutely amazing and I want to point out why. Make sure that you go grab your pen and paper. Now, if you're driving, you can. But if you're sitting at home, grab your pen and paper. Be an active listener. That makes you an active learner because when you start writing this down, then you can now go out and apply this information. So now the first thing I have that I do when I'm following someone is I look at their business model. I want to make sure that I'm looking at their model and that it in turn reflects what I want from my business model. So I'm going to ask you, what is your business model? Now, I knew that in 2010 to about 2000, end of 2012, I had an active income coming in with organic life products. I was overwhelmed. I was frustrated. I was confused. I worked myself into a second or third job. Now, many of you probably have an active income. It's very easy for you to go out and make something and sell it. Now, you can move and shift from that to creating an information product and creating a passive income stream. But the active income is making something and selling it. And I said, you know what? I can't continue to do this anymore. I really had a heart to lead my consultants to something bigger. You know, I just didn't want people getting, you know, 30% commissions and 50% commissions. I wanted them to make thousands a month. That was my heart. So I started following people that had some of the results I wanted in social media. Now for my business model, I knew that I wanted to get out of the active income. So I said, you know, I want to find someone that can help me grow my brand online. I knew that I, I had a great following on YouTube. My Facebook, there was nothing there. I mean, I had maybe 400 likes and I can tell you probably it was a lot of consultants and some of our clients and there was no interaction. I might have post once a week. So I knew I wanted to grow that. So again, look at their business model. Um, one of the coaches I followed this year was Sandy Krakowski. I'm a graduate of her small office home office program. And it helped me to understand Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and creating membership groups. And it helped me to grow my influence and brand. There was no YouTube video marketing, but I used what I gathered from that course for YouTube video marketing because I knew. Uh, I also connected with people like Kate Redwine. You can find her at positivething.net as a business partner. So I started finding partners get, that could help me. And that's why I wrote my first Kindle ebook. So again, Look at your business model. Look at where you want to grow within your business and seek after people that have the results that you want in their business. Now, we'll tell you, here's the caveat. You don't always need someone that is this huge $400 million millionaire. Um, look for people that have results. Maybe they have 5,000 on their page. I have almost 4,000 on my page, but guess what? I had 400 in December. I had hardly any. I know how to grow my Facebook through pay-per-click. I know how to grow it through influence. I know how to keep people engaged. So look for people that have results. And again, if you only have zero or let's say you have 100 and you want to get to three or 4,000, look for someone with three or 4,000, even someone with 1,000. It takes some effort to grow that. So again, your business model. The second thing is I look at their background. Uh, I typically will follow people that have very strong backgrounds that understand um, struggle. I'm, I'm looking for someone that understands the struggle a little bit because I'm, I'm coming from a different place of, you know, my family structure, not having a mother and a father, um, not having a grandmother that was involved in my life, living with her till I was 12. And, you know, even visiting back home here recently, there were people I had not seen for about 25 years years. Uh, my grandmother just didn't have a great relationship. So I want to find people that have had some type of background in their life where they understand and have moved from a shift from where they were to where they are now and can explain and, and really articulate that. I also look for many 
that have families uh, because family is important to me. So I typically don't follow single men. I typically follow husbands and wives, spouses, those have spouses and children. Now it's a different model if I'm following someone that's, you know, I'm reading this book. I read this book by this gentleman that I'm friends with and he has all these eBooks online associates, I should say. And his books are great, but they don't fit my model of, you know, get up in the morning and, you know, stretch and go walk the dog and have your breakfast. Are you kidding me? I got kids to get up in the morning. I got a husband. I got a job to go to. This doesn't apply to my life. So I'm looking for the application from that background. So I'm looking for someone with a very, not similar so much as a very familiar background. Do they have children? Can they connect? Um, Are the things that they're sharing something that I can connect with? Number three, successes and failures. Now, everyone wants to share their successes, but I want to know about their failures too. You know, so have they just achieved all the success and they've just been successful for the rest of their lives? I mean, we all have some type of failures that occur in our lives. There are some failures I will talk about with Organic Life Products. That company grew so fast. The consultants grew so fast and I didn't have a great manager on the company or the people. You have to be very careful also to make sure that when you're managing your company, um, you can have some friendships, absolutely. But you have to make sure that you're managing still, uh, managing it still as your company because it's your company and there will come people that will tell you what to do. So I'm going to look at their successes and failures and how they bounced back from those. Now that's three. So before we go to four and five again, I want to thank audible.com for being our sponsor. And again, for you all, the listeners of the Spark Wisdom Show podcast, Audible is offering a free audiobook download with a free 30-day trial to give you the opportunity to check out their services. Again, audible.com. So just go to audibletrial.com forward slash spark wisdom again to download your free audio book. So exciting. Now, the other thing here, let's go to number four. Where's your focus? Okay, where is your focus? For me, I knew I had to grow my social media influence. So if you want to focus on social media, you need to find someone that has social media. Um, Brand building, you know, who follows them? I look at the tribe in the community. There are some people that follow some other people online. And I look and say, you know, that tribe, ah, you know, I'm paying attention. The people that are following you, um, I want to know, you know, are these people I can connect with if I put a comment on the page? How does this expert or coach react? Is the community one that's very aggressive? Are they attacking people? Are they kind? One of the gentlemen I follow online now, Mr. Jim Cockrum, I took him in as a coach. Now I guess he took me in. So he's one of my coaches now. And I will tell you that for my model where I'm going in my business for 2014, I needed to invest in his services. But his tribe, his community is one of the best I've ever seen online. They are the most caring, kindest people that are very willing to help. So I'm looking for people that are helpful. Danny Johnson has an amazing community where they will help you and embrace you. So that's another thing. The other thing I didn't mention on number one is with your business model. Um, make sure, now if you're in an MLM, you probably need to follow someone like Eric War, big time network marketing. I'm not in MLMs, I'm not in network marketing, I'm more into intellectual property, information products, social media branding. So I have to find people that have those type of results. So again, you want to go where and follow where the waves are going for um, whatever it is your focus. So who should I follow? I gave you, you know, what's your business model? And look at their business model. You know, is it something that you can grow from? Uh, Who are they? Look at their background. There's some people, I followed Brendan Burchard for years. I don't follow him anymore. It just doesn't really, I mean, he's amazing, but it just doesn't fit some of the model for where I'm going in my social media. Successes and failures, do they talk about them or is it just all success and no failure at all? (laughs) Where is your focus? You want to grow your social media influence, your brand building, your video marketing, information products. Do you just want to grow in eBooks? You really want to get to where your focus is, offline business building. And look at number five is who follows them? What is their tribe like? What's their community like? Are they kind and embracing? And I'm telling you, their followers tell a lot about them. Be a visionary. Make sure that you're being a visionary. So I want to answer some questions like I do each week. And if you want to ask me a question, there's a couple of ways to do it. The easiest way is to just go to help dot sparkwisdom.com and then you'll be connected to a survey there or speak to tina.com and I'll actually use your audio on the show so speak to tina.com and I'm going to use your audio live your question or if you're a little shy or reserved 
help.sparkwisdom.com or anywhere that I'm on social media, you can ask me a question and um, eventually we'll add it into the show. So there were two that I, I asked, what do you need the most help with? And here are two things that some people wrote down. They said, I need help with time management. And then the other was bringing everything together and getting my name out in the public. And I'm gonna tell you, Time management, this is one I like to just talk about, but I have a lot of videos about it, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time here, but I will tell you, you have to learn how to manage your time. Now, I really don't like when I see quotes like, you know, you have the same amount of hours as Beyonce or Oprah, you know, what are you going to do with it? We all have 24 hours, but we do not all have the same amount of responsibility, okay? So... You really need to look at your 24 hours. I actually have a sheet that I use. It's a 30-day improvement guide. Every single 30 days, I'm writing down what habits I need to break, what habits I need to acquire, five, ways I can increase value to my business, increase my value to my home, meaning my family, and how I can sharpen my mind. You got to set your 24 hours up. I have a calendar that I follow, and every single hour, it tells me what I need to be working on. Um, and not, not so much as, okay, I can't change anything. But you need to know if you need to get up an hour earlier to focus on your part-time fortune, you need to do it. While you're on your right to work, maybe you can't listen to the Steve Harvey show five days a week. Maybe you listen to it two or three days a week. You really want to get very focused on your time. With my family, they know we have our family time. We have our dinner time, which is amazing for us. We spend a lot of time. We sit every day at our table, well, about six days a week, five to six days. We eat together as a family. And after that time, we'll sit there and talk and chat, talk about, did your monster come out the, you know, come out today? Um, how was your day? And then after that, we pretty much go do our own things. They know that mommy's going to go in her office and she's going to focus the next two hours on her part-time fortune. So I invest that time in my family for about three hours or so. And then I, they know I'm investing in their future. The next thing is, um, so go check out my videos, youtube.com forward slash spark wisdom. I have a whole playlist with time management. I show you my schedule. I show you how I manage my day. I show you what I do. It's very simple. And once you start telling your time where to go, just like your money, then it can no longer tell you where it's going and you're going to get a handle on your life. The next thing is bringing everything together and getting my name out in the public. Okay. You need to find someone that has some great brand marketing. I'd love to coach and work with you if that's something you're interested in, but I can tell you the best way that I found to build a brand is directly on YouTube. Google owns YouTube. It's the number one search engine for how to's for videos and um, why not? People are looking for content. So I would start building a brand, a strong brand on YouTube and then you wanna connect your Facebook, your Twitter, you want to get on Amazon and that's the best way if you're talking about public even online because once you show that you have um, sort of that they call it um, you built that brand social proof <laughs> then if you want to go out to what we call offline biz or within your community you're showing here that you have people that are listening to what you say so bringing it together um, don't separate it. I don't separate my business from my personal online. I mean, you guys see my family. You all have seen tattoos. If you're subscribed to me on YouTube, I share a lot of information. So I hope that that helps, those, answering those questions. Help.sparkwisdom.com. If you'd like to ask a question, or again, you can visit me and talk, speak to Tina.com. Well, that's the end of our show today. I want to thank you for tuning in to the Spark Wisdom Show. Again, make sure that you go get your free audio book from audibletrial.com forward slash Spark Wisdom. And I will see you next week. And, um, you know, life is good, but it can be even better. Make your days the best that they can absolutely be. I'll see you next week. All right, y'all, if you've made it to the end, if you didn't kind of go over to, um, you know, SoundCloud or such, you know, and, and if you're watching on YouTube, fast forward, you don't have to watch the whole, you shouldn't even be watching the whole 15 minutes. You should be listening, which I'm sure, because y'all are amazing. You're active learners. Um, but that's it. That's a podcast. Get up, put on a headset, or guess what? Just use your headphones and talk. Talk to people. Talk to them like they're your, your friend. Or not even a friend. Talk to them like you would lead someone. You're leading someone. You are sharing information with someone that can grow their business. This is information that you're sharing with people, um, answering questions. I mean, you're, you're valuing people. And everyone wants to feel loved, valued, and accepted. So I want to thank you all for spending time with me. That's it. Uh, it's a beautiful day. It's cold, though. 
but I appreciate you. And if you have any questions, y'all, leave them below. And go ahead and download your free audiobook too. It's not just for the podcast. Audible also gave me permission um, to display it here for you. I will see you, as I say in my lectures, in the next lecture, but I see you in the next show. Peace, y'all.